Hi, welcome to Get Simplifies. I'm Vanessa Hayes. I've done a couple of videos recently talking about how to organize any space. And I also introduced to you some basic principles of how to organize. One of those things I talked about was how to sort like items with like items. I also talked about how to assign homes for all of your things. And now I want to talk to you about how to contain all of your items. Now, looking at this pantry, this pantry in and of itself is a container. But then you can also put containers within containers like I've done here. I've got several different types of containers. I've got some mesh baskets, some bins, and I even got some plastic containers here to store some of my like items. And so I've got things stored together like baking goods, cooking oils, medicines, pastas, rice, and then even down below I've got some open containers for my kids to have easy access to their snacks. And the beauty about this is that, one, you've got all your items contained and like items together, and two, is that now when you go to get something, you can simply pull out the container, reach for what you need, but you're not, things aren't toppling over and you're not making a big mess, okay? So it's keeping everything nice and contained and orderly. Now this is how I've organized my pantry. Let me show you a couple of other areas in the home. Okay, so here we are in the master bathroom, um, and I want to show you how I use some products here to contain the items in my vanity. For example, here I have just a couple small boxes. This has my hair fasteners and rubber bands and barrettes, and then this box contains all my headbands. I've also got a small box down below that contains cotton balls that I use every day. So we've got that conveniently located. And then if you can see inside my drawer here, I've got individual containers for all my makeup. I've got small little plastic boxes here for like my foundations and powders. Uh, I've got one here for all my lipsticks. And then I've got one for like my eyeliners and whatnot. And then I've over for the to the left, um, I've got stuff for my hairbrushes. So I just wanted to show you, here's some real easy ways um, that you can contain those like items. And then down below, I absolutely love this container because I don't know about you, but I can't stand when things topple over all my lotions and hairsprays, but I got this plastic bin, it's thin, and I can put all my tall you know, lotions and hairspray bottles in here and they're not toppling all over each other. So again, just another example how to use containers. Okay, here's my bedroom and I'm gonna show you quickly my, my drawers here. Um, so this drawer is a container, right? But then I also added these um, drawer expanders, um, dividers that is, to help kind of divide and contain the different types of clothing that I have. Like I've got long sleeve tees here, short sleeve tees, my tanks, um, and then my gym shorts, okay? And then up top, I've kind of divided it there too. I have those uh, drawer dividers, but then I also have some boxes in here to help contain, like these are my jammies, and these are my uh, running pants, and then I've got just kind of like some uh, PJ shorts, and then I've got my regular shorts up here. So again, just showing you like even in your drawers how you contain the different types of clothing in them. So as you can see, there's a lot of ways that you can use containers in a lot of areas in the home, like I showed you in the kitchen, you know, the bathroom, and in the master bedroom, and, and your dressers. But there's so many other areas that you can use containers. Just remember that the whole point of containers is to help contain all those like items so that you can find what you need, when you need them, and where you need them without having to rifle through all the clutter, okay? So it's going to save you a lot more time and energy. Now, for more tips on how to simplify and organize your life, visit us at GetSimplifies.com. Thanks for joining me today.